Welcome to day five of 10 days to a simple social media plan for your business. On day one, we covered how you're gonna pick one platform that you like being on and you know your audience is. Day two, we covered how you're gonna be on that period for a trial period of about 30 to 90 days, following the exact rules you need to succeed on that, on that platform. Day three, we talked about your ideal audience, your ideal client, and how to reach them. And day four, we talked about researching, how to come up with more ideas on how to educate, entertain, and just in general, get to know your audience and serve them better. So today for day five, we're actually going to talk about coming up with content pillars or macro ideas of things you want to post about. Several different people talk about this. You can follow lots of gurus that talk about this idea. They all kind of share it in a different way. So I'm going to break it down for you today in the way that I find like the most simple and the easiest to grasp a hold of. Basically, when you think about yourself and your ideal audience and how you serve them, you want to start to think up five to six ways that you want to serve them, things that you want to talk about. For example, some of these things might be your services. Some of these things might be tips and tricks. Um, Some of these things could be your personal life or stories or even comedy. All of those could be things that you're talking about, but you want them to really focus on how to serve your clients. Now, I've seen a couple different people talk about this. This is a like unpopular opinion slash hot topic area, but a lot of people think that you really shouldn't post outside of your niche, if you will. Um, I disagree. I think that people like to buy from real people. People like to be in relationship with real people, and if you only post about your business or you only post about things that you are doing in your business, then it can be kind of dry. Whereas if you post about your business in addition to who you are as a person, it will build exponentially. I think you can see this a lot in Gen Z business owners. They don't just post about their product. They also post other things around their product, things that they love, things that they're doing with their lives, and it builds a more whole brand. So when you think about your brand and what you want people to know about you and what you're doing, I want you to start listing out five to six to seven areas that you want to share about. If you're not sure what those areas might be, drop them in the comments or drop who you are in your comments and I'll help you come up with those areas. But ideally, you want to start thinking about how you create your content in those different areas. For example, this is a series on simple social media, which is one of my content pillars. It's a way that I can better serve you. I hope this helps as you start to figure out what your content is going to be. Follow for day six.